Hi, this is Deborah. Welcome back and congratulations. If you've made it this far, this is the introduction to the functional exercises. You have already integrated the stretches, breathing techniques, mobility. You've integrated the deep core functional strength building exercises and you're at this place where you're wondering, should I be doing more? How much should I be doing? What should I be doing? And that's great, but let's take a look at this section with critical thinking caps on. So what I'd suggest that you do is watch the entire sequence first. Take a look at which ones you actually want to try and then try one or two and give yourself a day or up to three days later because we know that it takes 24 to 72 hours to actually get the feedback from your body about the results of exercise. So then if there's a problem, you can immediately back off. You can point out what was the culprit of that problem and not have it become a long-term or a chronic problem for you. So as you watch the exercises, you may realize something there is just not right for you. You know that's a culprit of pain and just leave that one out. But I will just show you a handful of exercises and there are hundreds if not thousands of options that you can choose from. So I just want you to begin very easily to incorporate these more functional exercises that are more dynamic and athletic into your routine if you feel that you're ready. Now you already do them without maybe thinking about them being exercises, but from the moment you get up in the morning, you rotate, flex, extend, and rotate again in a split second to get out of bed. You do the same thing getting in and out of your car. And some of you do the same thing at a desk or rotating back and forth between a keyboard, maybe on a desktop. So all of those things you take for granted if you're pain free, you certainly don't if you have pain at the moment. So what we're after is finding exercises we can gradually and progressively introduce with bits and pieces before they cause any problems for you, making sure that we're assessing how you feel and whether we can progress without taking too many steps backward. So over 28 years, most of the time people tend to get hurt because they're right where you are right now, excited about the progression that they've made to this point and wanting to jump ahead with a lot of enthusiasm into exercises that they don't quite know how will affect them. So I encourage you to take it slow. We'd rather have you going slowly and steadily forward than leap forward, get injured, and then actually have to go backward and kind of come back, begin the course again to build that foundation where you are pain-free before trying new things. So with that, watch the functional exercise sequence, choose what you'll first try, err on the conservative side, and then listen to your body before you add the next piece.